Good afternoon, everybody. We're going to do another physics lab today. Uh, this one is called the electrophorus. An electrophorus, similar to our electroscope, is a, a device that doesn't have a lot of practical application, but for a physics class, it has some really good demonstrative purposes. This is one you can do at your own home if you have the right materials. What materials would those be? Number one, I need to have some kind of an insulating device. Uh, the best one I find is styrofoam. This is insulating styrofoam. You could use the white lid of a uh, one of those white coolers. Um, uh, those would be the best. Uh, if you don't have that, um, a balloon is a possibility. We know that when you place charge on an insulator, it stays in one spot. So being able to tell one side from the other would be useful. So a face or an X, something with a Sharpie on there, um, all those would work as insulator. This is going to work better than a balloon, but a balloon does have the ability to work for us. In addition to having an insulator, I need to be able to charge up my insulator. I have my rabbit pelt from my physics classroom. You might not have one of those lying around. A little sweater could work. Everybody has human hair, or at least someone in the family does, and so you can use that. Uh, but I'm going to find that my styrofoam and the fur are going to give me the absolute best reactions, and so I'm going to use those for my demonstration. In addition to my insulators, I am going to need a conductor that I can move around. The problem is that I'm a conductor as well. When two conductors come in contact with each other, they become one conductor. So I need to make sure I have the ability to manipulate my conductor without actually touching it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a metal pie tin. My metal pie tin has a styrofoam handle taped to the top. Uh, that way I can now pick up the pyre tin, pick up the styrofoam, and what that allows me to do is, again, I can move it around without fear of actually coming in contact with my conductor. If I don't have a pie tin and a styrofoam cup lying around, any kind of an insulating cup will do. So this one right here has a paper cup instead. I still have my conductor. I want three dimensions. I want to have some depth as well as a footprint here. I can use a paper cup instead of a styrofoam cup, uh, but any conductor that I can attach an insulator to will be suitable. If I don't have a to-go aluminum container, I can use a soda can. A soda can will work. I have my conductor right here. I have my handle right here. This will Oh, this one actually balances. Sometimes this one kind of falls over depending on how stable and level the table is. So as long as I keep a hand on it, it should be okay. But that gives me a three-dimensional conductor with my insulator. And one last option would be is some aluminum foil. Aluminum foil actually works surprisingly well. I have a piece of cardboard, just a, an old pasta box on the inside to give it a little bit of structure. I put the foil around it. I want that depth. I want that three-dimensional uh, feature. So I rolled up the edges so that I now have my uh, the, the um, depth that I want for this particular lab activity. So this actually works out really, really well. So if you don't have a pie tin, this is a very, very close second. Um, so those are the materials that we're going to be able to use. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to clear our space away, so get that out of the way there. Okay, our balloon, we can get that out of the way over there. And so what we're going to do is have our materials here. And I am going to get some help from my children. So we're going to get um, Kylie and Christian. These are my two little physics helpers. Um, you might recognize them from some of the previous videos that we've done. So the first thing we're going to have to do is we are going to need to charge up our insulating base. And so what we're going to do, we're going to take our fur and our styrofoam, and we're going to rub them past each other. So nice and hard, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. They have never done this lab before, so this is going to be new for everybody except me. So back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. We'll get a little bit of our little Easter bunny out of the way there. Okay, so now, Kylie, what I want you to do, leave that, leave that fur right on top there. I want you to pick them up, side by side, pick them up and flip them like this. Hold one hand on the fur, one hand there. Okay, so now, if we can't let it go, and hold the styrofoam. Okay, so now, 
Looks like we get a real, we get a decent reaction there. Okay, so what we now have is a piece of styrofoam that has a negative charge. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to take our pie tin, all right? We're gonna slide this in front of Christian. Christian, I don't want you to touch anything until I ask you, okay? Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do is we are going to place our pie tin. I'm gonna make sure that I'm not touching the metal. So here we go, so there's our pie tin. I'm gonna place it right there on top. And Christian, what I want you to do is I want you to take your hand, your finger, and bring it in from above, and I want you to slowly touch the top of the metal pie tin. Ooh, what just happened? <laughs> it almost, it shocked me just like a teensy little bit. It shocked you a teensy tiny little bit. Touch it again. Did it shock you again? No. No, okay, so we reached in, we got one single shock. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick this thing up, okay? Kylie, touch the pie tin. Ah. Ooh, what happened? That was a big one. Oh, what was it? It's a shock. Another shock, another electric shock. What happens when we have an electric shock? All right, here we are. We are in the back hallway of our basement and even all of our basement rooms have windows, which means this is the only place where we can make it dark. It's still daylight outside. So what we're gonna do is we're going to do that same quick lab in the dark here to see what it is we would see when we hear that electric shock, right? So Christian has the python. We've got the styrofoam here as well. Kylie's got the lights over there. So what we're gonna do is we are going to take our styrofoam. Okay, lights out, Kylie. Ooh, Ooh that, okay. that was perfect. Okay, lift it up. My turn. Okay, was... and one more. Kylie. Right in front of it. There you go. And up. And... Ooh, oh, that was good. All right. Was so, Kylie, lights on. Okay, so, oh, wait, we can actually, okay, do it again slow. All right, so actually, all right. All right, lift it. Okay, so we're actually seeing it with the light on, who knew? So, what we're seeing is a mini lightning bolt. That's exactly what an electric shock is. It's just a mini lightning bolt. When you see lightning, you are seeing an electric shock that is so big because so much charge has built up that it uh, can jump miles and miles and miles through our insulating air. We have a jumping of electrons. The problem is it's so fast, you can't see which way they're going. And that's where we gotta start thinking about what's happening. Now, touch it again. Anything? Mm -hmm. Nothing. Okay, Christian, touch the pie tin, please. <laughs> oh, and he got it again. That was a teensy little tiny. Okay, touch it up here. You didn't get a shock again? No. Okay. Touch it. No. No? no? Touch it. Uh -oh. oh, I got it. Okay. Over here, setting it down. Kylie, go ahead and touch it. Got the shock. How Lift it hard up. is it, Kylie? Ooh, a nice is shock there. Hard? Okay, shh. So, what I find is that we set it down and, oh, I got one. Lift it up. I got one again. And so it seems that we keep on getting these electric shocks. If my, can, if my insulator was giving away charge to our Python, this should stop. And it hasn't yet. We know an insulator holds a charge really, really well. So if I slide it back over, okay, set it back down. Christian touched the top. Oh, Ooh, that was and, a good one. and we got it. Top. And we got it. Top. Nothing. Hmm, nothing. Oh, I just got one. Try it again. Oh, oh. there it is. Can you even touch it? There it is. Oh, oh. don't move, don't move, don't move. Oh! <laughs> Forehead shock. Okay, touch it. Another shock. Oh, forehead shock. Set it down. Another shock for me. Ooh, ear shock. <laughs> so it seems this thing is not slowing down. It's not giving up. And hopefully the audio is picking it up. I don't have a real good microphone right now, but hopefully the audio is picking it up. And if I can do this real quick, shock, just listen. Okay. 
Can you hear a shock every time? Yes. In case the audio is getting picked up, I feel the shock every single time. But what happens? I don't, I don't keep getting a shock. You have to pick it up. You gotta pick it up. So pick it up. Oh, okay. Put it down. Set it down. Stop. It seems there is no end to the madness. <laughs> So, why is it, pause for a second, why is it going through our steps, starting with a brand new fresh pie tin? Step one, I set this thing, well, step one is charging up our styrofoam. Step two, I set it down. What has happened? Draw a side view of your positives and your negatives. Step number three, we reach in. I'll do it. Boom, I'll and do a shot. So what happens, step three, what is happening with the shock? We can't see which way the charges are going, okay? Even though Christian's a little bit shorter than me, he is rather, rather large compared to our pie tin. So he is a large conductor. There's a definition for that. Step three, what happened with the shock? Step four, I lift this up. I lift this up. Step four, what happens when I lift this up? Draw a picture. And step five. Another shock. It is still going on. Now, no. all but just but just one. Hmm. Now, I can start over with step two, step three, oh, step yeah. four, step five, step two. Three, four, five. <laughs> this thing keeps on going on and on and on. Step six. Ow. Ear shocks. Ow. Right, so... Give that some thought. If you want to set it up on your own and give it a try, it's a lot of fun, so Daddy, give it a shot. You try. Until our next one. Get it. What? Get it. Get what? Give it, give it a shot. Give it a shock. Mm -hmm. We'll work on our we'll work on our material. Yeah. Okay. Shock. 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 Oh, right in the tongue. <laughs> A little bit. Ew, ew, ew. Don't, don't lick it. Okay, there you go. Nose. <laughs>